After accusing Ticketmaster of unfair, non-transparent, and exploitative treatment of early ticket buyers, Adele fans were incensed. As they started a Change.org petition to address the concerns around the sale of Adele's run of concerts in Munich, the first of which began on Friday night, her admirers expressed feelings of being betrayed. The Hello Hitmaker is scheduled to perform in front of 740,000 spectators over 10 dates at the Munich Mess Stadium, which was constructed especially for her visit. Though several fans have urged Ticketmaster, Live Nation, and Ludgeb Entertainment Group to address equitable ticket sales, not all fans have been able to secure a ticket for the performance. They contended that early fans were given expensive tickets during the pre-sale, and that later, less expensive tickets were made available. The statement they released was titled Expose the Scam, Ticketmaster, Live Nation and Ludgeb Adele Munich Concert Mismanagement. The petition pertains to significant concerns regarding Adele's 10 performances scheduled for August 2024 in Munich. Ticketmaster, Live Nation, and Ludgeb Entertainment Group's unfair and exploitative ticket sales practices have left many fans feeling betrayed. Fans are seeking to get 1,000 signatures on the petition, as of Friday night, 841 individuals have signed it. During the pre-sale, fans were systematically misled through deceptive practices and artificial scarcity, they said, continuing to justify the unfairness. Upon registering for queue links and after hours of waiting, the first purchasers were given expensive tickets that were frequently separated. Later, several more seats were made available at more affordable prices in better locations. During the pre-sale registration, the statement, there will be more demand than there are tickets available, was a clear attempt to manipulate consumers into making a speedy purchase. It became worse, they recently installed new sections directly by the stage for a lot less money. In addition to unfairly penalizing early purchasers, this tactic revealed the pre-sale to be a transparent scam. The inability to transfer or resell tickets, a procedure that is typically possible on ticketing platforms, was the second issue that came up. They went on, many ticket holders are having trouble selling their expensive pre-sale tickets because they are unable to attend Adele's performances. In order to prevent ticket holders from recovering their expenses, the organizers have prohibited the ability to transfer or resell these tickets. Scammers are now more active on websites like eBay and Facebook as a result. The organizers have only just revealed, after several inquiries from purchasers, that these features will or might be available one week before the performances, information that was not made clear at the time of purchase. Due to Ticketmaster's failure to provide the promised service on time, ticket holders are feeling deceived and misled by this delay, and with the shows coming up, they may suffer financial losses. Notably, for other concerts, such features are activated immediately. They provided an update on Monday, saying that information on the website has been changed retroactively, which can be considered as misleading advertising and fraudulent activity, and that the resale on the Ticketmaster marketplace remains unavailable. After failing to sell them all, they finally announced that tickets were now being sold for €35 Euros in order to guarantee that no seats remained vacant. The final insult was that they were selling tickets for €35, Euros, not because, as Klaus Ludgeb stated, they were considering supporters who otherwise couldn't afford them, the promoters don't care about that, but rather because many seats would have remained vacant otherwise. This is just another enormous insult to all of the people who previously paid absurd prices. The promoters are suppressing individuals who openly call attention to these abuses and ignore valid criticism. These unfair and deceptive practices have left fans feeling deeply frustrated and disappointed. The widespread discontent and substantial financial and psychological strain caused by this mishandling have raised questions regarding the integrity, fairness, and transparency of the ticketing procedure. Because they feel taken advantage of and misled, some fans are even wishing for cancellations. In their final statement, they issued a demand, saying, We demand that Ticketmaster, Live Nation, and Lutgeb Entertainment Group. The unjust, opaque, and exploitative treatment of early purchasers who paid exorbitant prices must be addressed and corrected. Give those who were misled full refunds. Turn on resale right away to ensure fair and secure ticket transfers. Update, July 29, 2024 it's too late now. Resale is still not possible on the Ticketmaster marketplace. We hope to bring attention to Ticketmaster, Live Nation, 
and Lutgeb Entertainment Group's unfair business practices by using this petition. We demand that their exploitative, misleading, and overpriced ticketing practices halt, and we demand a complete refund for all impacted parties. Adele looked amazing as she performed on Friday night in Munich, the opening of her 10-show residency in the city. To the joy of her devoted fans, the 36-year-old Easy On Me hitmaker commanded the stage as she stunned in a midnight blue floor-length dress and screamed out her favorites. Adele chose to go for her signature glamorous look, and she didn't let it down. She accessorized the ensemble with silver glittery earrings and wore her blonde hair down in big curls. Before the superstar's highly anticipated residency, throngs of admirers flocked to Munich, spreading Adele fever throughout the German metropolis. The stadium could hold 74,000 spectators, but they were unfazed by the threat of violent thunderstorms. The celebrity, who is renowned for being honest, revealed in a behind-the-scenes photo that she is BL asterisk 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 YS asterisk 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 G herself before the show, revealing that she was nervous. Just over two hours before her 7.30 p.m. performance, she teased supporters with a photo that was broadcast into the stadium screens. After applying cosmetics, Adele held a homemade sign that said, See you soon, and pouted while sitting with her hair in rollers. I'm BL asterisk 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 YS asterisk 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 G myself with a happy expression. Insider spoke to the throngs of passionate fans who had already congregated at the stadium in large numbers before the show, with one particularly committed fan even rocking handmade Adele Crocs. As he modeled the cozy white sneakers decorated with pictures of the celebrity and different song titles, the admirer going by the name of Daniel was undoubtedly wandering in the deep. Daniel demonstrated his commitment to the show by wearing his Crocs and sharing the details of his family's fiddly voyage from the UK to Germany, which they made in an effort to save money. I'm particularly delighted at how we managed to save an incredible amount by not flying Birmingham to Munich, which was an option, he said to the source. Rather than staying in a hotel because the hotels there are cheap, we took a train to the London airport, traveled to Dusseldorf, and then took a train to Munich. From there, we just had to pay 4 euros to take a train into the city. Although it has been difficult at times, we have managed to save more than a thousand pounds between the three of us, which exceeds the cost of the trip, including the airfare, accommodations, and tickets. This is significant because it allows us to treat ourselves to a little entertainment, including dinner and beverages. This has been entertaining so far, but it's hard to just have still water instead of sparkling, and the customer service has been fairly gruff when it comes to paying, he continued. And yet Daniel was still astonished by the astronomical pricing of products, even though he had saved over £1,000 on travel from Birmingham. He revealed, I'm really tempted to buy some merchandise at the concert, but the costs are ridiculous, so for now I'm just taking in all the praise I'm getting for my Crocs.